Well, throughout history, massive volcanic eruptions have had damaging effects to our planet and its people. Well, scientists at NASA are now trying to prevent future events, which they say may just be the only way to save the human race. RT's Trini Chavez explains. Supervolcanic eruptions have had some devastating effects on our planet and all those on it. Therefore, experts at NASA are working on some risky strategies to prevent one from happening, since we may be on the brink of one erupting very soon. Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming is famous for its tranquil geysers and hot springs. But beneath its beautiful surface of the park lies a massive volcanic chamber that could be on the verge of exploding. According to the United States Geological Survey, three extremely large explosive eruptions have occurred at Yellowstone in the past 2.1 million years, with a reoccurrence interval of about 600,000 to 800,000 years. The most recent took place 640,000 years ago, suggesting that Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption. But outlets like geysers and hot springs at the park can bleed out some heat, delaying the inevitable eruption. And when NASA experts analyzed the problem, they thought the most logical solution would be to to cool the volcano down. NASA has a plan to drill a hole into the side of the volcano and pump water through it. When the water comes back out, it'll be heated to over 600 degrees, slowly cooling the volcano. The team hopes that given enough time, this process will take enough heat from the volcano to prevent it from ever erupting. According to the BBC, Brian Wilcox, a former member of the NASA Advisory Council on Planetary Defense, talked about the actual devastation that could come from an eruption and the risky techniques that that the agency is considering for preventing one, including ways that could potentially set one off. The possible plan would drill into the bottom of the Yellowstone volcano using high-pressure water to release heat from the magma chamber. But Wilcox said this could be very risky. He told the BBC this could make the cap over the magma chamber more brittle and prone to fracture, and you might trigger the release of harmful volatile gases in the magma at the top of the chamber, which would otherwise not be released. Although NASA is considering other plans, it seems that cooling down the volcano could work even though it's a risky process. And it's not cheap either. The plan would be around an estimated $4.5 billion. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT.